Good day everyone, welcome to the first episode of a brand new series here in, on Blues SMP. My name is 13.4 and I hope you have a good time today. Well, this is an SMP or well, what this is really is a realm that was created by a chap called Adventures with Blue. They are a... Would, would I call them a new creator? But they are a creator that got their start, or at least I found their first video out. A while ago and I immediately found their style quite amazing and something that I would actually like to accomplish myself. Meanwhile, you might have seen that my first instinct after I saw the sky get darker was built this temporary shelter. But I'm also gonna be making my very first tools just so I have something to start with, which would be my sword, pickaxe, and axe, just to make sure that I have the things I need just to defend myself for this first night. This spider is probably gonna be the death of me, thankfully not. Oh gosh, I skill. I'm gonna have to hide from the skeleton. Okay, so a lot of these first few nights are gonna, just gonna be me trying to get basic resources, getting situated, making sure I get to a place where I am safe. And I'm also gonna take this down fairly soon as well. I do not want to have such a temporary structure so close to spawn. But while I was just looking around, I think I'm seeing a village over there. Those seem to be structures and more importantly, those seem to be lit up. So if those are, if those are village structures, then I will make sure to get there as soon as I can. That said, that probably means it would be a good idea for me to make a wooden shovel or potential, potentially making a boat for myself. Alright, that's great. We are now moving in towards daylight, which means we can possibly start moving. Oh, we don't even need the shovel for the boat anymore. I do seem to remember that it was needed at some point, but probably not anymore, I guess. Okay, that's good to know. So I guess I'll be able to now use this shovel for, well, as just a shovel. We do not want to have anything to do with this guy, so let's just run away from it in our boat. We're also going to be picking up some resources along the way. I'm definitely heading as soon as possible to the village. Oh. Alright. <laughs> I've had this habit from my alpha series where you could just punch a sheep to get its wool. Okay, I'm gonna have to kill you, unfortunately. To get the mutton and the wool as well. I have to get a few more sheep to get that. Bedrock newbie. I'm just a newbie at bedrock. Okay, reached our village here. We have. I'm gonna assume that a lot of these houses have been raided in terms of in terms of what items we can find in in the storage containers. But it's worth looking anyway. Oh, hello. If these are signs, then this might actually be the actual spawn for this realm. Okay, rules, don't be a jerk, don't steal, no harm others' bills, no cheating or hacks, no duplication glitches, no cursing, no making fun of other people's bills, do not leave trees hanging, emphasis on the trees, and chest. To-do list, if you're bored, make yourself a home, build a food farm, build a chat a building, get going for these signs, lol. Chest. Members, we have these two guys. Um, I've seen... Um, so the blue guy is our realm owner. We have the king, 3225, whom I have not seen yet. And we do have what seems to be the start of a row. Okay, we have blue stuff over here. We have a basic enchantment setup, uh, setup as well, which is amazing. If I am to start something of my own, I will definitely have to pick up some of these crops. That said, hmm. There's a few things over there which could be worth checking out as well. Have this place too, which might be just a waypoint of sorts. But I 
am now interested in going out to either cherry blossom biome or the birch forest that we started in. I just realized that I could technically just add my name on here. So now the choice needs to be made on where I should set myself up. If this is carrots, okay, that's great. That means that I now have my two main crops that I want to grow. I am really, really tempted to just go ahead and go to the cherry blossoms. Just because I am not used to working with any pink blocks. Like, that is going to be quite a challenge for me. So let's head there and see what we can find. Meanwhile, since I am going to be walking around a lot, I am making myself a bed as soon as possible as well. Just making sure that we are not putting ourselves in too much danger by spending too much time out and about during the night as well. Gotta get some cobblestone as soon as possible too. As I am approaching this area, I am def I'm already seeing a lot of good things. I saw a bee fly by earlier. I'm seeing some of these wonderful blossoms that I would really like to have as well. I know that they give you pink dye, but I am more interested in the potential uses in terms of decoration for builds. That said, I need a way to properly get up this place. Okay. I also wonder if this is a good place for me to go. This area doesn't seem to be a huge part of the forest, so that might actually be a good thing for me. Unless I want to get surrounded by going into that area. I also have this area over here, which could be a good place to start something, but um, being closed like that will also limit the space that you can work with. But we've seen a little bit of the area. I think now is the time for me to go back to the spawn and clean up a bit. Now, I seem to remember that there was a roof forest somewhere close to spawn, and that, that means the possibility of a woodland mansion as well, but I also recognize that that is a low, low possibility of having it so near to spawn. So right now, my focus is just getting as close to zero zero as possible, getting back to our little hidey hole somewhere over there, and just taking it down, or maybe perhaps making a small bonus chest for it for people who have just started on the server like i might consider taking some time to just leave out some things that um new players joining in can start with now where no, here we go there's our birch hidey hole over there so we're gonna start converting now that we have our bed we're gonna start converting that into just a tiny house that we can store some stuff in and to start with to start with that we're gonna go make a single chest it should still be the same sort of structure as per usual actually let's not put it there let's put it inside our structure over here so we could leave something for people since we have a roofed forest over here as well my next instinct is to try and get myself both kinds of mushroom now the easiest way to do that is just start punching some of these but i can't quite remember whether there are just mushrooms on the floor in these biomes so i'm gonna look around for a bit for those also we have here a ruined portal I immediately saw the netherrack and I was like, yep, ruined portal over here somewhere. Let's see whether we have some items here. I am... Hmm, do I want these? You know what? I'm gonna pick them both up. The... Both the golden uh, tools here. And is that spruce over there? That's amazing. If we have this kind of variety of 
biomes in this world, then either we got really lucky with the seed or Blue was able to select a really good seed from the get-go. So I know that I will need to come back for the dark oak. For the dark oak um, saplings at some point. You do need four of those to grow a tree. But I am definitely gonna try and get a spruce tree going as quickly as possible as well. So as soon as I get my red mushroom, I'm definitely heading to whatever biome it is that has those spruce trees. And just as I was thinking about whether I will eventually find a a brown or red mushroom just in the world, I immediately find one on a log and that's amazing. Which means I can now go to our next destination which is the spruce area which is over yonder and this might actually be the place i settle not quite sure but i already like seeing pods all over there i also like how we have these cobblestone board cobblestone boulders all around which means it's much easier for me to get access to stone so yeah um I'm gonna see if all of these are mossy because if all these are mossy I'm not gonna be cutting all of those down my my focus is regular cobblestone so I can get myself some stone tools for things I need but yeah I'm gonna be walking around a little bit more I just realized this might actually be the first time I've seen a fox have I seen foxes before I literally cannot remember is this oh it's, it's another kind of wolf right Hello there, Wolfie. I hope to tame one of you someday. So, this might be a good island for me, just realized. I could... I could probably use some of this to inform my palette. But, right now, all I can think of is... Get cobblestone, get some of this wood, some of the dark oak, and especially a lot of the spruce. Getting a lot more coarse dirt here, which suggests this might be a different biome altogether, but I just don't really know enough about Minecraft biomes anymore. Ooh, I see an azalea. Azalea trees always mean lush caves as far as I know. So, okay. I have not yet tried actually following down an azalea tree. Now, what this tells me is that this is probably my sign that this might be a good place for me to start setting up a shack of sorts, right? Because if I can set up something that would let me, I don't know, pick up good material, set up a business around a material that's harder than usual to get, like, uh, I don't know, clay or glow berries or whatever. And that would be amazing for me. So I am now extremely tempted to just go down this particular rabbit hole over here. 